Keith and Dennis, Dennis is a new volunteer, started two weeks ago, started working on the French wing, removing the skins to reveal the jigging points. So I take it the jig for the wings will soon be delivered. John's working on the floor of the Doncaster rear fuselage of Lancaster KB976. Removing the top skin of the downward identification lights. More replacement speakers added to the fuselage on the port side. It's very noisy in that hangar with five men using air tools. The lights have got the floor cleaned and painted. It's a light bluey grey, looks okay. Les is working on the replacement skin for the one he took off in video 105. We were in lockdown in January to March 2021, unable to go to East Kirtney. Luckily, Brad, the youngest of the engineers at East Kirtney, kept me informed by sending me a series of videos which I uploaded onto YouTube. Lockdown video number 31, uploaded on the 18th of February, gave us the insight of the engine control from the cockpit to the engines. These were a series of chains and rods. One of the box changed the movement from right to left to a 90 degree push and pull. I wondered how this was done in this box. Luckily on my visit today, Brand was cleaning this box, taking off the French wing, Lancaster NX664. So it was a good time to find out. This is the box in question. This is just, well obviously you can see it's a chain drive. How yeah. does it change direction? Um, there's two jockey, jockey sprockets in here. So it comes in from this side. Yeah. One I prepared earlier. It comes in from this side and there's two jockey sprockets which take the chains up round and then back down and back out. Oh, it's one continuous chain then, is it? With joins, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, well, I mean, it, it only moves backwards and forwards a few. Yeah. So you see, they're they're actually joined on right angles there. Your two different oh, chains. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. So that these ones go around your jockey sprocket. Yeah. And this one goes over the top, which is onto your control lever. Yeah. And then it goes back down through another 90 degree join and back down to the, well, the return. Because yeah. when you did a, a video for us in winter, you came with us showing the chains yeah. going from the contest. But when it comes to here, I thought, well, oh, now it changes from um, a, an horizontal to a vertical. Yeah, it's got little... These are the ones, this is a Canadian one. These are the ones from the French wing that were just overhauling yeah. to use. You get little sprockets, um, and obviously they've taken the bearings out to replace the bearings, but there's a bearing that sits in there, and that they go in here. They go in, yeah, I see. Oh, I never thought about turning the chain around, now yeah, it's very clever. They're, yes, the, isn't it? they're the bearings, obviously these are all the scrap bits, but they're yeah. the bearings. Yeah, because I mean there's only a movement of what? Six inches at the most? If yeah, not even that, probably yeah. about four. Yeah. Oh good, I'm pleased. So all it's got to do is articulate this. Yeah, so it's not a big movement. No. Yeah. Good, 
Thank you. So for a full video on the engine control, check out lockdown video number 31. I've put a link below in the description box. said this section was moved from up there or was it moved yeah. the wrong way? That, that, that bit there. Yeah. There. yeah okay. Will you move it back? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got, got no information for what happened here. No. That Canadian said, but we've got the information for how it should be. So we'll stick it all back yeah. as, as it was during the war. So these holes, uh, well, I'll let you take yeah. it. The, the, these mountains are here for the uh, down, downward identification lights. Uh, there's, uh, there's red, green and amber, just like, just, just like traffic lights basically. Uh, there's three switches on the uh, instrument panel and for when it gets challenged from the ground it can show the colours of the day as they call it. Yeah. So is that when the more or less were coming home for yeah. landing? Yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, when they're coming home they're challenged by an anti-aircraft battery or something like that. They can yeah. put the colours of the day on and go, yeah, it's friendly. And it would be just one light, would it? Or would it be a combination of two lights? It might be two, I don't, I'm not sure to be honest, but yeah, one, one, one or two. Yeah. And this is in the wrong position, did you say? Yeah, this has been moved back because the Canadians modified it. Because it's got like a, some sort of antenna or uh, radar set up just in this this hole here. So this this, this bit here should really should be up, up against that. Yeah. So they've moved it back two formers. So we're, we're going to put it back to what it was like during wartime. Because yeah. we've got the drawings for all the uh, yeah. all the intercostals for these. Yeah. Yeah, put it back. We haven't got any any information on this. So at all. It, you've nearly oh, you've got the stringers to do this side yet, have you? Yeah, I uh, can't really do anything with that at the minute because that side is, is too far in. I haven't, I haven't got a datum, and most of the stringers just go to the door anyway. Yeah. Oh yes, they only go yeah. to here, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and the big strengtheners here. That one, the one that makes the top, the bottom of the door, the one that makes the top of the door, the one above that. Yeah. The new ones made because they've been cut. All oh, right. So it'll be some time yet before you get the formers made, won't you? Yeah. Well, we're looking into it. Yeah. Good. Right. Thanks, John. Okay. You got some hidden rivets in there? Yeah, what's happened is, um, you see it, where the skin's been broken away, the rivets are still attached to the stringer at that end of it there, look. Oh. See them there? Oh, yeah. So I've got to get them out. I'm trying not to cut, I mean, I could cut it, but I don't really want it at this moment in time. No, no. If needs be, I, I can, I can Just cut it. Just three.
Dennis has found two more rows of rivets to remove before he can take the skin off. The skin underlaps about six inches. Oh, that row has, has it? The runs right to there. Oh. Mate. Yeah. Good.